Hello everybody, I'm the Gaming Shulker, and today I'm going to talk to you about drifting in Need for Speed Unbound. Now, Need for Speed Unbound came out like five days ago as of the recording, so I am going to just kind of go over the way drifting works in the game and give you some tips on this. Now, Need for Speed Unbound has a very similar system for drifting as is in Need for Speed. You can either initiate a drift by tapping the gas, so, you know, while you're turning, let go and then press down on the gas again, or by tapping the brake as you're going into a turn. I'm going to tell you how to drift better in these three simple things. Step one is to train yourself out of using the brake tap and instead use the gas tap in order to initiate your drift. The reason for this is because tapping the brake even though it does put you into the drift at a more of an angle, it will slow you down a lot and the more of an angle you're at while you're drifting, the more speed you lose. So using gas tap is the best option because you can ease yourself into an angle and have it not be too far so you can preserve as much speed as possible throughout the time. Tip number two is to actually keep your angle as shallow as possible. When you are in a drift, the harder an angle you turn at, the more speed you will lose over time. And no matter how much nitrous you gain from it, if you've gone to basically a standstill, that nitrous is not helping you anywhere near as much as it would had you held the shallower angle. The third tip that I have for you guys is to plan out your turns in advance. If you see that there's a sharp turn coming up, then you might want to get your drift in earlier so you can ease into the angle that you need to be at. Or if a turn has just snuck up upon you, then you can use the brake entry in order to hit that angle that you need to hit. Just keep in mind, the better you plan ahead, the more speed you'll be able to preserve and the closer you will get to beating those grit builds. Those of you who watched until the end, thank you very much. I very much appreciate it, and I would actually appreciate it if you dropped the like and maybe even a subscribe and uh, spread this channel to your friends, because, you know, I'd like to do this as a means of making money at some point, and I would love to give more tips and more analyses on video game elements. Thank you guys, and have a nice day.